Hey friends, did you know that you can sync all of your information, including autofill, saved data, usernames, passwords, even bookmarks and tab information between your devices that are using Google Chrome? It's actually pretty simple. I'm gonna walk you through the process step by step. Okay, so if you use Google Chrome, you know it's really handy to have it syncing information between the devices that you're using Google Chrome on. In this case, I'm using it on my laptop as well as my iPhone. So you do have to turn on your sync information and it's pretty simple, I'm gonna walk you through that process. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up and there's these three dots that are over here in the right hand corner once we are signed into Google. You do need to make sure you're signed into Google on each of your devices that are using the Chrome feature. So we're gonna hit that three little dot button. This is gonna open up some options for us. In this case, we're gonna come down here and click on settings. Okay, so this is gonna take us into our settings page for Google Chrome. And what we're looking for is sync and Google services, this first option right here. So that arrow is gonna drop down some more settings for us. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna click up here, manage what we sync. All right, this is going to give us even more options. And as you can see, I've gone up here and I've clicked sync everything because I want the same experience on my phone as I have on my laptop. Now again, you can actually click on customize sync if you want to just sync a few things. Uh, otherwise, you can see all of this sync data that is on for me. Again, you can open or close this uh, again by clicking on customize sync and then you can come over here and you can turn off the ones that you don't want to be syncing. Again, I'm gonna click on sync everything. But as you can see, all these different options are here, apps, bookmarks, extensions, history, settings, themes, reading lists, all sorts of good stuff here. So again, that's it. Just make sure if you want your Google Chrome experience to be mirrored on your other devices, that you come in here to the sync settings. Friends, if this has helped, please click that thumbs up button for us. Let's us know we're making helpful videos. Subscribe because we're making a bunch more Google Chrome tutorial videos. Those will be coming out really, really soon. We'll see you again on the next one.